Hello everyone and welcome to my hobby home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am working on my grandma's scrap quilt. So join along with me in this sew along if you'd like to. And we are going to be getting a quilt made. So first thing is first, I do have a Facebook post for this sew along. I will have my Facebook group linked in the description. Um, we also have the Silverstone. That so along was yesterday. You'll see that link also in the description. And where we are at on this so along is I have all my squares were cut into quarters, I believe in the last one. And I was sewing these together. Well, now I have them all pressed. And now what I'm doing is making my blocks to say. So what is happening? And let me see. I think I have one already put together. This is what they end up looking like. You have like a bow tie or an hourglass block. Yeah, that's an hourglass block, not a bow tie block. And I've already got started on this today. Um, I was on a call earlier and I'm like, well, let me just get started on this. So that's what I did. And for everyone out there, thank you so much for your, your well wishes for me. I am uh, better. <laughs> And uh, I am improved, so that is really good. Now, um, this sew along, this is from a Sherry McConnell pattern, and I think she's with a quilting life. But this is her pattern that I'm using, it is a free pattern. The link for this pattern is also down in the description of the video. I would love it if you would join me on this. I do hope to be finishing one of my sew along quilts this week. And if I finish it, you may not. I think the silver stone I'm almost done with. So you may not see that one until it's on an update. Uh, my, these are pre-recorded. So just so you know, um, they could be pre-recorded a week to two weeks out. And sometimes things get finished in that process. <laughs> Just saying. This one here, it, uh, it is Friday. So it's not a week out for you on this. But my silver stone was, uh, is a week out. That's the one that you saw yesterday. And that, that is when things kind of went south for me. But, you know, I, uh, I was glad I had a few videos pre-recorded for you guys, which that I try to have a few pre-records for y'all anyway. And it seems like I cannot get a straight a straight stitch on that end because I can't get a finger on it if I get a finger on it I'm gonna get a finger under that needle but what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my two pieces I have they're both green and orange I flip them together I nest the seam there and I put a pin in it Make sure those seams stay nested. Then I put it on that quarter of an inch. But it, it actually was a blessing for me to have, I think I had y'all pre-recorded through Wednesday of last week 
yeah thursday there was no video so yeah i did and i just put one of my um videos from my eat to live channel out there for y'all so those of you that aren't on that channel got to see something that i put out um I'm bad about putting videos on that channel because a lot of times when I'm in my kitchen cooking, uh, I'm also cleaning, but I hope to do some meal prep this weekend and maybe bring you guys along. So, but that'll go on the other channel as well. I may put them on both channels for a little while and just decide if I want to move all of my my cooking back to this channel or if i want to leave it separated i haven't decided yet because it is part of my hobby home this is part of my hobby i cook i sew these are things everybody needs to know how to do, you know. And y'all see me reaching back here because while I was on my phone call, I told y'all I was doing some. I got a lot of them done. I got a stack. This is all I've got left in this stack to do, which is just a few. And that stack was this size. So I got a good bit done there. So all I'm doing is just um, pinning them up and stitching them together. I'll probably press them, you know, not not on camera, of course. I'll probably be done finished recording by then, actually, because I'm going to give myself about an hour today on this because since there's no pressing, I don't have to cut any out. Because I don't anticipate that I will finish all of these in an hour. And actually, today being Friday, and I know y'all see this on Sunday, you guys are going to, um, also, hopefully, you saw the interview that Katie did with me um, on her channel. It's Greenland Quilter. And, yeah, we had so much fun doing that. After the recording, we even kept talking. And we just had a blast. Katie, if you're watching, girl, I'm going to have to come see you. Because if you've got ice caps already, I need to be there. I need to be in Alaska where I see people wearing long sleeves already. I need that in my life. I think that's why I watch so many um, YouTubers that are in northern United States or Alaska because, oh, I just need it. I need the snow. I need the ice. I need winter. But first off, I need our road fix because uh, winter would make a nasty mess of it right now. And we're just just trying to to live with the dusty road right now it's awful but you know it is what it is and they're doing what they can do so i'm not going to complain about it i know there's a process to the there's a method to the madness on how they do things and you know, how I see it, if somebody wants to complain about it, they need to get out there and work in them 107 degree days. Because it's hot here in Louisiana. People ask what kind of heat we have. When you walk outside in this heat, it takes your breath away, number one. Today it isn't as bad. Well, I came in before lunchtime. It was 87 degrees, which is perfect temps here um but that's when i came in today it could be hotter now because it normally gets hotter and it's it's about 4 30 almost 5 o'clock p.m central time and it gets hotter here about two o'clock 
in the evening just because where the sun is located and so you know But it is hot. It is hot. And those poor guys work in this heat. Y'all, oh my goodness. I don't know how they do it. But there are so many people that like to complain about the people that work on the roads and my suggestion is if they not doing a good enough job how about you get on the crew and go out there and work help them if you think you know how to do it better help them because they always looking for good people to work you know But anyway, I need some snow caps. That's what I need. But also, I'll start watching Hallmark movies this time of year because they always got snow. I need snow. And I actually, before I started sewing today, had to go cut my thermostat down or up. I had to cut it up. Um, I had my thermostat in my house on 67. I know that's really low, really cool, but I don't know. Well, I know what it was last night. I was burning up, y'all, burning up. But that was because they gave me a steroid shot. So I know that's why I was so hot. But I had to cut it back up to 70. I was like, no, I don't need it this cut. And normally I keep it about 68 in the house, or I did. And then my husband and I started doing this detox, y'all. That's something else. And let me tell you, there there is a lot more to this detox stuff than you realize. And when I say detox, no, we're not detoxing from alcohol or drugs or nothing like nothing like that we're detoxing from food not really food we're detoxing from heavy metals my husband has recently been diagnosed uh, with heavy metal toxicity so and all he can do is do the detox supplements and being because we're married I have I guess they called it transference or something like that um, so I'm being treated for it as well. So we come across an app that's called Yucky or Yuki or something like that that tells you if food or like your personal hygiene items are good or bad. And it tells you what the items are in there and what they cause. And y'all, I went through a lot of stuff in my house. Found out even my shampoo's got carcinogens in it. Cancer causing carcinogens in my shampoo. How are these things even allowed on the market if they know they have this stuff in them? It's just crazy. But, so I, I mean, I just started pulling everything out. You know, I know the no aluminum, um, deodorant, and people need to realize if you can't have aluminum in the deodorant, you definitely don't need to be drinking a soda or anything out of an aluminum can or cooking your food in aluminum pans. Aluminum is now this is something that i found in my research when i was in college um i was in gerontology and i was getting ready to write my master thesis on alzheimer's and there is a link 
between aluminum and Alzheimer's. They don't tell you this, but yet they sell you all of those aluminum pans, you know, at Thanksgiving to uh, put your food in. And they sell you all this stuff with aluminum in it, but they're not going to tell you that aluminum is directly related to Alzheimer's. So if, if y'all have someone that has... Um, things like that you need to uh, detox from it and but my husband I mean we should have had known when we went to DC that and he kept setting off metal detectors we should have known something was wrong because my husband could not go through a metal detector without having to be searched you know they had to wand him and um every time they get down to his calves and his legs i mean he'd raise his pants legs up take his shoes and socks off and they'd be like man you just got a lot of something in your legs and uh so we should have known at that point that he had some kind of metal in his system but he's now having cognitive issues he's having trouble remembering remembering things um so his memory is really bad sometimes he's having trouble thinking of words i have that all the time too but it could be that too But when you start having a toxin dump, you know, all the toxins coming out of your body from, we have, we do have to take natural supplements that help rid your body of these things. And let me tell you, these things do a lot of stuff to your body to get that out of it. And, but we're, you know, just trying to go less processed foods, more natural foods. Um, so, yeah, that, that being said, that's what we're trying to do. So, today, I went to my local, I don't like to say the name of the store, my local Mark Mark that I don't like. And... Um, and I'm going to tell y'all, my local one, they have just some of the most unfriendly people there. They are not customer focused. And I say local, but it's still a ways away from where I live. But they are not very customer focused. Now, they did have a power outage while I was in there. And i had been in there in an hour and a half. And I carry my own little shop shopping boxes y'all might have seen those and um i didn't even have one field of things and it took me an hour and a half because we have to replace our deodorant degree really bad our shampoo we use that um head and shoulders two in one for dry scalp we use that awful y'all it is awful um i will have a video that i put out for you guys um so you can see what i'm talking about i because that was my plan today i was going to shop and i was going to show y'all some comparisons and i'd only gotten through beauty products because i'm literally having to replace everything my mouthwash, my toothpaste, my shampoo, my hairspray, my dry shampoo, um, everything. And now I'm not running my, my beauty products through there. I'm not running like my, because my skin regimen is Clinique. And... I mean, now when I run out, I probably won't buy any more. 
but I think what I had actually said it was good that was my moisturizer it said it was good but y'all something that I did come across now this was a food item but I keep it in my bathroom kind of like a lotion is um organic coconut oil the walmart brand y'all that is bad even okay that just went corkscrew haywire i've noticed all of these right here on the end I can't seem to get them to go straight. They want to curve. I've got to get them to stay straight. <laughs> it's hard. I almost have to pull them to the side over here to stay straight. But anyway, they had a power outage while I was there. And I was asking them, well, can I just do it as a pickup and pay for it? and just take it with me y'all take my name and all that down and I, and they're like no ma'am it may not come through our system since everything's down i'm like well then y'all still got paid you know walmart still gets paid and you can take my name name down so if it does come through somebody just goes and scans the stuff and um shows it as picked up that's all they had to do. No, they can't do that. I said, can I do scan and go? Well, you can't do that because our, our registers are down. Okay. Well, you know, my thing is, if that happens, you need one register on a generator so the people that are there can go on and check out, get their stuff, and leave. And no. No. But you know what was working? All the laptops and tablets and iPads and all that stuff in the back was working. They were all working. And because I asked the young lady back there, because I just kind of joked, I said, an unexpected break sure is nice, isn't it? And she was like, yeah, it is. I said, well, why are all these still working? All the iPads and tablets and all that was still working. Those were still on a generator. So they could take the generator off of that stuff and put on a register. You know, so people could still, the registers need to be on a generator. Let your lights go to emergency lights. Let your, you know, you need your refrigerated section on a, a generator, which I don't know that it was because their lights didn't come back on, but I don't know if that was on or not. But, and I mean, granted, if you needed to, to tell people they, they needed to go on and go to check out because it was on a generator and they were going to lose power and you wouldn't be able to check your stuff out, that would have been fine. I didn't even make it to the food section. I made it to the baby clothes and I was looking, of course, I was looking at baby clothes because my grandbaby girl, her birthday's coming up and I was going to see if they had a cute little outfit that she didn't have. But they, and that's when I was telling them, you know, that, that to me is ridiculous. So now, I have to go back to Wawa Mart. I don't like that place. I really do not like that place. And my, I, I had called my dad and let them know. And I'm like, look, don't go to Walmart. There's no power. Um, so then I called my aunt. She's like, well, you know, I went over there today. And uh, she said, and they didn't, my aunt has to use a uh, one of the motorized scooters because she can't walk that far um, for her her back she has really bad back problems and but she can get around normally just little distances with a cane and but to do her shopping she does need a motorized cart well i know our our local store 
has three that I know of. They probably have more than three. But three that I know of. And she said they didn't have a single one up there. And she said, I don't even know if they still have them. Because she said she went last week and there wasn't any up there. And she said, so she just went to the local Brookshire's. And she said, you know what? I think I get away cheaper going to Brookshire's anyway. <laughs> Which is not a lie. You probably do. But our local Brookshire's is not a big Brookshire. So it doesn't have all the options. And so what I did, I went and we were just talking about the road. We live on the same road. And we were talking about the condition of the road and how dusty it was. She's like, you know, I need to go wash my car. So I told her, I said, well, have you had lunch? Because I hadn't eaten anything at this point because I had my, my feel-good appointment today, which was my chiropractor appointment. I love going to the chiropractor. I always feel good after it. My back feels amazing after it. I wish I could convince my aunt to go see him, but she, she doesn't want to, and that's okay, you know. She still has faith in old medicine, and I don't. I don't have faith in old, well, old medicine I do. New medicine I don't. But, uh, my chiropractor got me all sorted out today, and I'm feeling good. I w only thing I deal with is, like, when I walk a lot, my right hip kind of goes crazy on me. But, feels good now. And he asked, he said, you sit at a desk all day, don't you? I said, yep. And then I go home and I sew. And he's like, oh, so you're sitting down all the time. I said, yeah, but I do get up and move. I told him, I'm like, I go out to my garden. I work in my garden. When I'm at work, I get up and I move around at least once. I think my chair at work needs to be replaced. It's not the best chair. And um, now my chair here, this chair is an office chair. It is not a sewing chair. It is an office chair. That my husband got a great deal on, y'all. It was um, like a $250 chair. And I just told him, I'm like, that's this was the chair I really liked. And I told him, I said, it's really comfortable. I really like this. And I said, but I picked another one because it was just more affordable. And he told me, he's like, go on and get the truck. I'm going to take the thing up there and get it so he was talking to the guy about this chair and the guy told him it was on clearance there was no signs on it that it was on clearance he i think he got it for like under a hundred dollars <coughs> and y'all i'm i'm so sorry my throat is so dry today and i just lost my bottle cap this is my electrolytes that i drink I was doing the element, but it was a little too salty. And my sister told me that they get salty when you don't need it or don't need salt. But I know I need the electrolytes. So this one here is called Ultima, I think. The flavor I have is watermelon. It's... It does not have sugar in it or anything like that. But, I don't know. It don't have, I need salt or sugar. One of the two and it don't, I don't, it don't have either really, I don't think. Because I can't taste the salt in it. Now the element, you can really taste the salt in it. But it wasn't bad. I mean, I, it's just, when you're not used to that, it's kind of hard. Now, my husband, he drinks the Element, too. I may tell him to bring me some Element, too. And we can kind of um, mix them up. Have one one day, 
a different one the next day yet this one did the same thing y'all i had it kind of corkscrewed off there on the end it's almost like it wants to um i don't know why it does that but so here i am talking about all kinds of food stuff and nothing at all about quilting but i'm just just sewing working on grandma's scrap quilt here because um i'm hoping i'm hoping to finish my silverman pretty soon and i'm hoping to finish this one maybe a week or two after the silverman not why do i keep calling that the silverman it is the silver stone the silver stone i know laugh about it it is funny that i i can't seem to remember what it's called and it's not that i don't remember i just call it the wrong thing which is awful so let's see what's going on with your weekend you're seeing this on sunday and i'm doing this on friday so when i say what's going on with your weekend it's kind of like this is what my plan for the weekend is but it may not happen i don't know i may have a grandbaby tomorrow who knows um i i do know my son said he was gonna try to come over either this evening or tomorrow probably tomorrow because they're planning on going to the lake um and staying at the camp for the weekend because my daughter-in-law's mother and stepdad is putting their house on the market and that's where my son and daughter-in-law are staying right now because um you know he just got back from service he don't know where he's going to be he's still trying to get a job so i just started asking him what exactly are you looking for what kind of money are you making wanting to make and he when he told me how much he's wanting to make he wants to make at least sixty five thousand a year that cuts louisiana out you're not going to make that in louisiana and i know that's awful because you know he's done this work for military so i don't know it's not good they they need to he needs to find some kind of work so they can get their own place baby girl needs her space and i know my daughter-in-law needs her own house that she can take care of just her stuff behind her and her family you know her her baby and my son because as far as i'm concerned that's the family unit i'm the mama i'm and you know her mom we're we're not part of their family unit they need to take care of their family unit and but he's thinking he may be able to get in arkansas um because he's talked to somebody i don't know i think this job was in mississippi and they told him that um most people at this place that start out at like eighty five thousand. he's like well that would be a good deal and i'm like yeah that would be a good deal but that still put them an hour and a half away <laughs> i don't like them being gone so far away but honestly i'd rather them be there than little rock arkansas because that's four hours and i like a place there's some places where they're at right now that love the shops there if you go on the vicksburg um i don't know what it's called but it's like on the river there they've got a brick pathway and some beautiful little shops some great little eating places they're all really nice and my sister and i love to go shop there at christmas time <laughs> they've got a place called the cinnamon tree and they just got cute little knickknacks and things you know um 
but my they have a body lotion or a lotion that my sister really likes and it's hard to find it anywhere else and they have it there so we'll go every year and she'll get her another little set of it you know i think the set comes with a body lotion and a hand lotion and something like a maybe a spray or something that she really likes i i can't remember what it's called the brand is called but it does smell nice but now i have to be very careful about all of that too i'm having to throw away so much stuff i'm having to throw away o'keefe's repair lotion not good um oil of o or olay body wash which is what i use is not good it's it's i don't know that it's bad but i'm not getting rid of that i'll just use it up and not buy no more of it but that's what i told my kids to give me for mother's day and uh because i really do like it but i shouldn't be using that either now i'm like what am i supposed to be using but you know that's a process something that's not you probably should be using something like shea butter or something that's more natural like goat milk or something like that you know just things that's more natural and this app really makes you think about the things you use now i'm not gonna lie it's expensive to do this the deodorant that we found for my husband that he can use is that dr squatch the sasquatch wood barrel bourbon deodorant he likes that scent because he's got the soap bar he really likes that scent or the bath wash he's got something of that scent and uh he likes it that deodorant is 12 dollars for one cartridge of it who pays $12 for deodorant? I told him I'd be going around stinking. I'd just be throwing something. I'd be throwing that basil leaf under my armpit. But them things stink too. Because I thought one day, I was like, oh, I was out in my garden. And I could smell the basil. But I didn't realize that's what it was. And I was like, do I stink? Did I sweat like that? And then I realized it was the basil. <laughs> I thought I was fixing to have to come in and take a shower because I thought I was smelling. And the funny thing was, I had taken a shower that morning before I went out to the garden. Which that, I don't normally do that. I don't take a shower before I go to the garden because I know I'm going to sweat in the garden. So <laughs> I just take a shower when I get back in, which I still did. I still took a shower when I got back in because I did sweat. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just unreal the things that you shouldn't use i mean who would have known they've pushed fluoride for so many years for dental fluoride's not good for you so now we're changing our toothpaste it's it's a mess and i told him i said i have so i went and i did my walmart i did it as a pickup which I haven't put it through yet. And I told him, I said, just our bathroom basics. You know, I did put baby wipes on there too because I was considering, you know, what am I giving my grandbabies? What am I wiping their behinds with? So, but the Huggies, um, aloe and vitamin E is good. So there's nothing toxic or harmful in, in them. So we know those are good. <clears throat> and I did another one. I think I did Cottonelle. But I will do a video of those. And I'll just do a voiceover on it. So you guys will um, be able to see the products that I looked at. Now, I will put some on there that I looked at, and I just took pictures of the products, and then I, I looked it up on that app, 
and I will show you what they're saying. You know, if it's good, bad, anything under a 50 on there is bad. That means, and some of the things that you see, it's got cancer causing things in it, heavy metals, you know, things that you should not be putting on your body. Which honestly, when it rains, do you really know what's coming down out of the sky in the rain? So, okay, that's enough about all that. <laughs> um, let's talk about projects. I was saying what I was going to do this weekend. I have on my table this weekend to, um, okay, my grandma's scrap quilt. And actually, I will show y'all. Y'all have seen my big, my, my big book. This is my, my little book. This has got my month on it that shows everything I've planned for this month. And then in here, let me take that off. On this side, I have it by hours and then it's a to-do. On this side, it's just where you can do notes. Well, I write on that side what my plans are for the weekends, my projects for the weekend. Well, since I've been ill this week, I have not been able to work on my Star of Wonder and finish up my cross stitch project. So I want to finish that. I'll probably put a movie on tonight and watch that. Um, but then I have uh, this quilt. I have, I want to record um, the Silverstone for next week. And... I want to do my pressed flowers. I want to go in and get that put together. That's all I have left to do is to put my pressed flowers together. And if I have time, I have these little projects that I need to uh, quilt and bind, which I may not get to, but that's okay. But guys, it looks like we're running up probably about 45 minutes now and I just got a call that I need to return this call and um, see, make sure everything is okay let me see what time is it oh she just got off work so I do need to give her a call so guys I'm going to show you here what all I've gotten. These are what I have done. I have no idea how many that is. <laughs> and, um, but I do appreciate you for stopping by and joining me today. I thank each and every one of you for all you do, for just coming in and supporting my channel, just by watching my videos. That, that does a lot for me. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I know I'm sitting here chatting about everything but my quilt today, but we're working on putting together our two sides of our hourglass block. This is our hourglass block. We're working on getting that put together. And uh, next week, I will start assembling because I should have everything done by then. And... I hope y'all join me next week too. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day. Goodbye.